What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 12 and today we're going to talk about how to describe VPC using Boto3 from Python. So in the last tutorial we have seen how to create VPC or you can create multiple VPC using the same script but this that was very basic but uh, don't worry I'll be going to uh, explore some advanced use cases but before that I think this is the right time to go with some other uh, available methods available. Uh, for doing some sort of operation in uh, on top of VPC, so this is the one of the very unique and uh, widely used uh, method uh, called uh, describe VPC. So I'll be going to talk about how to describe VPC. Describe means uh, I'm not going to go uh, detail about this thing. Call these are the prerequisite on what are the things required you definitely install uh, you definitely have to install boto3 and aws cli and if you are watching this thing for the first time uh, just go ahead and uh, search for the tutorial one there actually uh, everything was discussed we did it kind of a hands-on driven approach so i did everything one by one and everything was uh, like uh, shown in the screen okay so next thing is that creating of im user just i i didn't uh, remove this thing from the slide just because of that i'm just uh, 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 trying to explain you guys that if you are just randomly pick one system and start doing this thing automation this will not work so you have to have the uh, prerequisite ready prerequisite ready you have to have your im user ready and after that you have to configure of your uh, you have to complete the configuration of your aws cli then everything will work okay then you can run the code what is uh, describe describe actually gives uh, about gives uh, information about one or more than one vpcs okay this is in a nutshell so we're going to explain so nothing uh, like uh, from the theory point of view nothing to discuss uh, we'll just going to see it from the uh, tutorial okay so let me minimize this thing so if you see here i have three vpcs okay so how to describe this vpc describe means if i click here so you see here is some description and something is written here let me just see some description something is written so i i want to do it from the programmatically like what is actually um, what are the different attributes and their values for this vpc okay so we'll we'll, we'll do that okay so first thing tutorial 12 and how to describe vpc using python okay heading okay okay so first thing import border 3 sorry done so now we'll create one client okay and we'll write boto3 dot client and inside that we'll put ec2 you know how ec2 okay so i'm getting a call don't worry and after that uh, what i'll do we'll uh, now uh, go back and open our this thing so what is the first use case how to describe vpc sample code how to describe nothing how many uh, vpcs are there if you want to describe how to do it okay so for the first thing how to how to describe all vpcs avail in your account okay so let me just make it a heading okay so for that thing what you have to do we have to just do client describe something will be there describe vpcs now what are the things required you have to just do it and we'll see so if you you can uh, like uh, let me just make it so these are the things uh, like kind of dictionary or list you can pass but uh, let me check what is required nothing is required actually so what i'll do i'll just uh, i'll just do nothing actually i'll don't i'll not do not, uh, i'll not pass anything i'll just write simply like this thing let's see what is happening so see uh, i will get uh, three vpcs actually so if you see here so vpcs so this is one cdr with this thing the 172 ip so what is my chrome here 
so this is 172 then uh, uh, two more one with b uh, one with ends with 1494 i mean the id so we'll go and check this thing so here so this is the one then one is uh, uh, next one this one one is 94 right and one is probably mm, uh, VPC ID one is 14 one is uh, 94 and if you see here this VPC is actually default is default true and remaining things are not default so is default is default where is this default is default false for this one and for this also is default false so if you want to check how many VPCs are there you can easily do it so what I'll do uh, X like this okay so let's run this thing so what x means x means this dictionary right right so dictionary has a key so if you do something like this uh, b p c s okay c will get this list okay so number of b p c s okay so length of three means you have three vpcs so this is a kind of uh, intelligent uh, logic you can apply this is not actually available in the documentation nobody will tell you that it will only uh, uh, talks about what is going to response but from the response you will easily understand it is going to response or return one json body or one dictionary and dictionary have a key and uh, uh, the value of this uh, uh, dictionary key is a list so and list what it contains it contains all the vpcs so now i get this thing uh, uh, from here so it's a list and we'll just make it kind of a uh, count so i'll get this thing and after that you can uh, kind of iterate through this thing so if i just uh, print this thing here so you will able to understand so every list have this thing so every list item if you uh, see here every list item is a, a dictionary now right every list item itself is a dictionary right if you carefully watch this thing you will be able to understand right so for example if i write this thing uh vpc in number of vpcs right uh f then just i you want to just write the vpc ids so this is a vpc id right so what happened i don't know i just opened something uh my mistake so this is one so what will happen vpc dot uh vpc ids uh, sorry vpc of this one right and let's print this thing actually we'll see see i got all the vpc id so in this way you can iterate through uh, all your uh, described result and this is going to give you the actual answer okay so this is very simple guys so if you have uh, no condition if you just want to describe all the vpcs available in your account and you want to just list down their uh, like um, ids you can do in this way okay so one use case is completed and this is going to be very useful in the future on if someone is already working with aws and automation for them also this is going to be helpful but you have to practice or else you'll forget and you have to just come up with your uh, like use case the more you explore with respect to use case the more you will understand like uh, so reading the documentation and after that trying to uh, implement all those logic then only you will be able to like um, gain some sort of confidence and you will feel comfortable to working or exploring more actually okay so next thing is that uh, uh, how to describe vpc using vpc id now i have to use some sort of like uh, filter uh, not filter exactly uh, it is asking me that uh, uh, if i want to uh, specifically uh, see this one what will happen how to do that so uh, does how to describe vpc vpc based on vpc id okay so heading like this okay so our our client is this one okay so what we'll do now we'll create x 
client dot describe describe vpcs and here you have to mention something and what you have to mention vpc id so we'll just go through the documentation now if we open this thing in describe vpc uh, this is something called vpc ids and here you have to mention this thing okay so i'm not sure why this is not getting copy paste so i'll just do vpc ids just remember this thing b in caps and i in caps okay so what will happen b pc ids like this and this will be in list if you go here and check and this thing is actually in uh, where is VPC? this thing is actually in list so you have to pass a list so what you have to do like this this and let me just copy this thing i want to like uh, see who, what is this and just because list you can uh, assign multiple uh, like values like you can add multiple values so for two three four five whatever list is uh, count is there you will get all this